Now, children, we discuss in detail about one of the important topic related to this Bohr's theory of hydrogen atom, and it is important for your IS examination also. And the topic is different series of hydrogen spectrum. Different series of hydrogen spectrum. The spectrum means the color band having different wavelength and different frequencies. Different wavelength and different frequencies. Okay. Now, this spectrum of hydrogen can be produced when the electron jump from any of the higher orbit to any of the lower orbit. Because electron in the hydrogen atom in the excited state can be in any of the orbit. And that electron can jump from any of the higher orbit to any of the lower orbit. And you know, as for the Bohr's theory of hydrogen atom, okay, when electrons jump from any of the higher orbit to any of the lower orbit, that uh, atom emit radiation. That em electron, uh, atom emit radiation, uh, and radiated energy in the form of what? Electromagnetic radiation. And ele every electromagnetic radiation has a what? Definite frequency and definite wavelength. So we have a series of spectrum that can be observed when electron jump can, can jump from any of the higher orbit to any of the lower orbit. And this spectrum was studied by a number of scientists. Okay, so, and this, that's why it is called hydrogen spectrum. Now we start with the different series of hydrogen spectrum. So for that, we start with the relation. And relation is 1 by lambda equals to what? R 1 by n1 square minus 1 by what? n2 square. Yes, children, you have learned this relation. We derived already in the last YouTube video. The wavelength of emitted radiation in hydrogen atom is given by 1 by lambda equals to r bracket 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square. Okay. So this quantity, as I said, is called wave number. And that's lambda is called the wavelength. It's called wavelength of the emitted radiation. And this is according to Bohr's theory of hydrogen atom. Now this relation now can be utilized for studying the different series of hydrogen spectrum. Now to do this study, we have one of the first series. Let's start with one of the first series. And this series is called Lyman series. Lyman series. Lyman is actually the name of the scientist who observed the series of this spectrum of hydrogen atom. So Lyman series is that series of hydrogen spectrum in which the electron, the electron, okay, jump, electron jump from what? from higher orbit jump from higher orbit any of the higher orbit uh, the, that orbit I write on as n2 n2 is called higher orbit and that can be written as n also which is from second orbit third orbit fourth orbit fifth orbit it can go up to infinite orbit to the lower orbit and this lower orbit which is marked later n1 will be 1 Okay, that means when electrons jump from second orbit to first orbit, which series of spectrum of the Lyman series? Third orbit to first orbit, Lyman series. Fourth orbit to first orbit, Lyman series. Five or fifth orbit to first orbit, Lyman series. So that means in Lyman series, the higher orbits are nothing but two, three, four, five, up to infinite orbit, and the lower orbit is what? One. Okay, so when any electron jump from any of this higher orbit to the lower orbit one, then the spectrum of emitted radiation which emit, observe, and this was studied by Lyman itself. That's why it is called Lyman series of hydrogen spectrum. Now for that Lyman series, I write the same relation as 1 by lambda equals to R 1 by, now N1, instead of N1, I put value 1, 1 square minus N2, N2 square, but N2 I write on N, no problem, you can write N where n starting from what? 2, 3, 4, dot, 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 like that. So look at the relation that measure the wavelength of emitted radiation in Lyman series. So 1 by lambda equals to r bracket 1 by 1 square minus 1 by n square. Where n is 2, uh, n are what? 2, 3, 4, dot, 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 like that. Now, as for the observation which was made by Lyman, okay, this emitted radiation was observed, was obtained in the region and this region is called ultraviolet region. So just keep in mind children that Lyman series lies in which region? Ultraviolet region. Ultraviolet what region? You know ultraviolet rays, ultraviolet rays, okay, are one of the light electromagnetic waves, okay 
having a certain wavelength. Okay, and when you calculate this, the wavelength of emitted radiation in diamond cities with this formula, all the wavelength lies in which region? Ultraviolet region. Okay, what region? Ultraviolet region. Okay, so Lyman in the year 1916, okay, observed this phenom uh, this series, okay, and measure this series, okay, measure this series under what, uh, what, uh, which region? Ultraviolet region. Now, from this relation, children, we can even calculate the longest wavelength and the shortest wavelength in Lyman series. Now, for longest wavelength, we we'll calculate what wavelength? Longest wavelength. N must be equal to 2. So, when you take N equals to 2, we get the wavelength, and that wavelength will be the longest wavelength in Lyman series. So, let's just do the calculation. 1 by lambda equals to R with 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2 means how much? 2 square, n means 2 square. So, it will be how much? R bracket 1 by 1 by 2 square means how much? 4. Now, we take the LCM. So, children, we can take the LCM out here. So, LCM will be how much? 4. 1 and 4, LCM is 4. So, 1 divided by 4 is 4. 4 and 1 is 4. Minus 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 into 1 is 1. So, 1 by lambda, see, 1 by lambda is coming how much? R bracket 4 minus 1 by 4. Therefore, I write down 1 by lambda equals to R into 4 minus 1 is 3 by 4. So, 1 by lambda is 3 R by 4. So, if I reciprocal, so lambda equals to R by 4 by 3 R. 4 by what? 3 R. Now, we can subtract the value. 4 by 3 into R means 1.097 into 10 to the power 7. Okay. Now, take to 10 to the power 7, I'll take in the numerator. 4 into 10 minus 7 by 3 into 1.097. Okay. So, with this uh, relation, if you do the calculation, if you multiply this and calculate, okay, and we measure this wavelength in meter, but we can convert meter to Armstrong. See, we are measuring the wavelength in Armstrong. And children, you know what is the relation? 1 Armstrong equals to 10 to minus 10 meter. So when we do the calculation, so we can calculate this wavelength in, in the order of 10 to minus 10 meter. Okay. But this can be corresponding to the wavelength. We measure in what? Armstrong. And when you do the calculation, children, you get the value of this wavelength, the longest wavelength, approximately as 1, 2, 1, 6 Armstrong. And we do some numericals from this relation also. But just remember this much. What is the longest wavelength that you calculate in Lyman series? 1, 2, 1, 6 Armstrong. 1,216 Armstrong is the longest wavelength in Lyman series. So corresponding to this longest wavelength, we can calculate the shortest wavelength. We can calculate the what wavelength? Shortest wavelength. And shortest wavelength in Lyman series is calculated when n is infinite. When n value is large, the wavelength is small. So n value is infinite, then we get the shortest wavelength. And that shortest wavelength is equals to 1 by lambda equals to r. So I use the same formula. 1 by 1 square minus 1 by n square. This is the formula. So r, 1 minus 1 by infinity. So the n, n value is what? Infinity with whole square. Anything divided by infinity is 0. So it will be r only into 1 minus 0. So 1 by lambda equals to r. So if 1 by lambda equals to r, 1 by lambda equals to r, then lambda equals to 1 by r. Okay, 1 by what? r. And with this value of r, if you substitute and do the calculation, so children, you get the long, shortest wavelength as approximately 912 Armstrong. So I'm just measuring this wavelength in Armstrong. Okay, so what is the longest wavelength in alignment series? 1216 Armstrong. And what is the shortest wavelength in Lyman series? 912 Armstrong. Okay, so this range or wavelength lies in which spectrum? Ultraviolet spectrum or ultraviolet region. That's why Lyman series always lies in which region? Ultraviolet region. So this is the first series of hydrogen spectrum. Now we have next series that can be observed. And next series is called Balmer series. This series, Balmer series. Now this is another series of hydrogen spectrum which was observed by Balmer. 
So Balmer is the name of scientist. And he observed this series of hydrogen spectrum when, when electron, this is the series which is obtained when electron, okay, when electron jump, what? Jump from what? Higher orbits. Higher what? Orbits. And what are the higher orbit? That is N2, means higher orbit, which is equals to N, like 3, 4, 5, 6, like that, higher orbit, up to infinite orbit. 2, the lower orbit. To lower orbit, and this lower orbit is N1, and this lower orbit are nothing but 2. So in Balma series, children, remember this, the lower orbit is 2, the higher orbit is what, 3, 4, 5, like that. That means when electrons jump from higher orbits to lower orbit, we always obtain the series of hydrogen spectrum and this series are called Balmer series. Okay, so for Balmer series also we write the relation and the relation will be given by 1 by lambda equals to r bracket 1 by n1. Now this below n1 is 1, 2 square now. Now instead of n1 I write on 2 with square. Means 1 by n2 means n square. Where n starting from what? 3, 4, 5, dot 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 up to n infinite so look at the formula that measure the wavelength of emitted radiation of hydrogen atom in balma series this is only for balma series okay this is only for what series balma series and balma in the year 1885 observed the spectrum of series and this series of was obtained in the which spectrum visible spectrum visible what spectrum you know, visible spectrum has a wavelength range from 4,000 Armstrong to 8,000 Armstrong. That means all the wavelength of Palmer series lies in which spectrum? Visible spectrum. Okay. So when we calculate the wavelength range of, of this Palmer series, it exactly lies in the which spectrum? Visible spectrum. Okay. So from here also we can calculate the longest wavelength and the shortest wavelength. So I just write the value. What is the longest wavelength of Palmer uh, series? So longest wavelength. If you calculate longest wavelength, and longest wavelength can also be calculated by putting n equals to what? 3. If I put n equals to 3, the first orbit after the lower orbit, we get the longest wavelength. And this longest wavelength in Balma series is approximately how much? 6,563 Armstrong. So when you do the calculation, the longest wavelength will be 6,563 Armstrong. Similarly, when we calculate shortest wavelength, shortest wavelength so children shortest wavelength if you calculate the shortest wavelength will come approximately how much 3400 600 let me write down 646 armstrong this is the shortest wavelength but children longest wavelength is calculated when n equals to 3 and shortest wavelength we calculate when n equals to infinite so these are the wavelength that can also be measured in what balmer series the shortest wavelength is 3646 Armstrong and longest wavelength is 6000 uh, how much 6563 Armstrong so this is another series of hydrogen spectrum so there are two more three more series to be discussed in hydrogen spectrum and that you learn in the next YouTube video